So again, this is Greg. We're doing the same house in La Crescenta. So I'm getting up in the attic and I'm gonna bring my camera around and uh, well, we got the furnace here and this is where you change the filter. Oh, there's a, a peligro, danger. Do not use equipment. You know, we've had that furnace on the day and probably should have checked. But anyway, what's happened here, they use a uh, solid, semi-solid aluminum connector and that's no longer uh, proper standards approved for use due to earthquakes. They, they, uh, they crack and break. So this needs to be switched out to a flexible gas line here. And it looks like the gas company has been up here twice now. One Last time they put this tag on. This other tag here I felt I found on the floor here. So somebody has changed out the gas valve but they didn't spend enough money and change out the gas connector here. Uh, it's set up on bricks and it's not supported uh, from uh, uh, from above. And then you see the uh, tracite pipe here. It's right against wood. And wood is charred. Got some smoke areas here. So it's uh, that needs to be a switch out to a metal pipe. The uh, what else do we have here? The uh, they have an attic fan here. The wiring's if you can see carefully. It's uh, done outside exposed splices. And uh, this uh, ducting here is uh, put on by duct tape. It deteriorates over time. Cover is deteriorated. And uh, so that's what you have. Again, this is Greg Noyes of Pacific West Home Inspections. This is Greg Noyes of Pacific West Home Inspections, and I'm under a house in La Crescenta. And if you look down the sewer line, sewer drain lines, cast iron, you can actually see a crack split all the way down on the top here. And so cast iron does split. It's not a supported line. They didn't support it well. And so this section needs to be replaced. They use black plastic ABS today. The, uh, where the beams and posts come together, we'd like to see a T-strap today. That would be an upgrade. And then if you look at the walls, you see the white efflorescence showing that there's some water moisture coming into the uh, into the uh, crawl space. And this is very typical and under crawl spaces. So I want to move myself around. And I'm on a little uh, cart. Pretty easy down here, and we'll go down to the other bathroom. And I noticed a lot of moisture from the other the other. Uh, It's all this older cast iron, so basically it's rust, corrosion, and I've had the water running a while here. You see the moisture over there, where I, I couldn't figure out where that's coming from. So this side you got a uh, toilet. So there's something leaking here. I figure out what that is. That'd be under the uh, hall bathroom. So we know there's a leak there. Can you see it? There it is. You see it over there. Okay, and I'm going to go down the front. We're coming on to the uh, 
living room here you can see the uh, base of the fireplace and this brick and uh, corrosion again on the uh, cast iron down by the kitchen these little carts really make it make it pretty easy to move around so this pier we have a pier over here in our sockets can you see that in there it's not lined up correctly efflorescence this is the front foyer right here. And uh, we have plywood under here. Plywood here, so it's a newer home. Take some photos and that's it. So this is the crawl space in the house in La Crescenta. Today is Friday, uh, excuse me, Wednesday, May 7th. And I am Greg Noyes of Pacific West Home Inspections. Greg Noyes of Pacific West Home Inspections. Today I'm doing a house in La Crescenta. It's uh, third, uh, excuse me, it's Wednesday, May 7th, and around 2.30 in the afternoon. And on top of the roof, as you can see, it's a com composition shingle roofing. If you look carefully, you'll see these horizontal cracks here, your shingles. And all through the uh, field so they're uh, basically uh, getting at the end of its serviceable life it looks like the uh, ridge caps were replaced at one point usually we replace them at eight to ten years on the roof and get another eight to ten years after they're installed so uh, you are getting uh, aging roof here and you can also see the uh, mat base mat is showing lots of rock granular rock is showing here and then you can see the uh, horizontal uh, cracking here in the shingles uh, and we'll go to the top of the roof walk around a little bit so one layer roof right here is your uh, hood for your ventilator in your kitchen and go to the back over to your left side of the house you have a uh, vent for your water heater and that's a transite uh, pipe and the living room we have a fireplace and the chimney comes up through the roof and you can see some cracking in the concrete cap here and missing a uh, smoke <coughs> spark arrester smoke uh, rain cap excuse me and inside the uh, chimney the there's a crack horizontal vertical crack and the uh, flue and so fireplace specials will need to come out look at your uh, fireplace moving back you have a uh, furnace and that's using a transite pipe as well you can see uh, soot here on the side here so it's not fitting properly uh, you see that and then the back of the house you have a overhead power line coming in and the uh, connectors have lost their uh, insulation so you want to have the power company come back out here and uh, re-insulate the uh, lugs here these are uh, exposed and they should be uh, insulated so nobody touches them uh, backyard you got a sprinkler back there you have a little shed in the back and you have uh, gutters and that roof is uh, you can see the uh, ridge cap is uh, deteriorated in that and then the satellite dish uh, also is a uh, place there 
it's not hooked up, it's our, the cords are cut. And in the very back of the house, you have a tree limb over the, over the roof, you want to cut that back. Again, this